Hi, so I'm going to do a little bit of a bonus here with the wellness wheel. Yesterday I spoke with you guys about how wellness impacts our relationships and some of this idea about the balloon. Um, I really thought that I wanted to highlight a piece about burnout. So with the analogy of the balloon, that's a great uh, example of what burnout can look like when we consider wellness. So the idea that if we are limited in one area of our wellness wheel, it impacts all of the areas of the wellness wheel. Just as if we're overdoing one area or overdoing every area, that impacts our wellness wheel. If we're doing too much or too little, if we are neglecting something in our life, that can lead to burnout. Burnout is really interesting to consider because it's going to impact our stress and it's going to impact our relationships. With the other um, picture I have here of the wellness wheel and relationships diagram, um, if one person is suffering burnout, so let's say in the relationship they're feeling burnt out or in their life in general, of course that's going to impact their partner. Some ways that we see burnout in a relationship is somebody who is more typically quiet, non-confrontational, easygoing, uh, withdraws in communication, might all of a sudden be very heated, argumentative, angry, those sorts of things. Um, whereas somebody who is more pursuing or eager to make emotional connection that really wants to make sure we talk things through, all of a sudden gets quiet, distant, apathetic. So those are ways that we can see uh, burnout, personal burnout, relationship burnout, lacking our wellness as impacting the relationship dynamic. Now we'll also start to understand how this plays out in our parent relationship with our child. I'll save that for another day. All right, you guys, hopefully uh, you're enjoying this one. I'm excited about the communication toolbox and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.